Doombots, this is the Eric Killmonger appreciation post. This is the first character spotlight I've done in a long time, and it's the very first one uh, that I am going to do about a non-legendary character, because I really think he deserves it. So, let's take a look. All right, guys. Killmonger. So... I've been calling him the jack of all trades. I've been calling him the best mediocre character in the game. I've been calling him one of the most underrated, uh, overperforming characters in the game. And I figure it's time I explain why. And the way I can explain why has really nothing to do with his stats. It has nothing to do with his abilities per se. It has nothing to do with anything other than his tags. Killmonger has one of the best set of tags in the game that will guarantee you as a player the amount of resources and time you invest in Killmonger will always perform admirably for you. And we're going to start from the beginning. Villain. Now, uh, there's not much as far as villains are concerned with, with that tag. You know, there's the villain campaign and that's pretty much it. Sometimes you'll get like an RTA battle with villain requirement, whatever, that doesn't matter. The point is, if you get Killmonger uh, as a villain, he is a reasonable character for the villain campaign until you start requiring specific characters. Uh, just, you know, assuming you're early game or anything like that. Uh, moving to global, uh, global, again, only has two major things that stand out against it. Uh, Dark Dimension nodes specifically, and late game raid nodes. That's it, uh, Alpha specifically. So, you have some value to a global character, not necessarily as much as like any mutant character in the game or shield, aim. You know, there's plenty of global characters to accomplish these tasks, but the option of using Killmonger for anything like that is great to have, which is point two on the list of why I think he's pretty okay. Skill is where things get cute. Because there's probably about four or five good skill characters in the game. And I mean good. Not great, not grand, not wonderful. Good. Uh, and he's one of them. You know, Zemo, Taskmaster being some of the other two. Uh, the rest of the skill characters, like Black Widow, Hawkeye, they're okay. They really rely on something else. Killmonger as a skill character is kind of kit contained. Uh, everything he does, he does on his own. He doesn't really need anybody else around him. But he gets stronger at certain points. So as a skill character, you really can't waste the gear on Killmonger. And we'll see why as we keep going on. Same thing with Blaster. There's at least one thing you need Blasters for, and that's a challenge. Uh, as far as Blasters are concerned, there are some great ones. Obviously, uh, Black Bolt, Ultron, you know, uh, Bishop, <laughs> Sil uh, Silver Surfer, I believe is Blaster now. So, like, there's a ton of decent blaster characters even if bishop isn't one he still is you know so you can use these characters to get through and he's one of them he has self-sustain he does decent damage uh he's a character you can use for that that challenge and progress yourself through so huge value uh from a blaster perspective and finally we come to the three things that matter the most his affiliation tags he is a wakandan so the good news is uh the wakandans suck there's only two that don't it's shuri and him uh, so when you do the Chaos Theory event, if you were to invest in Killmonger for any of the reasons we previously discussed, you would already have one character done to help you get more promotion credits towards increasing red stars. That's great. Uh, there's also a Gamma Raid that requires Wakandans in a certain node, and he stands out as one of the best standalone characters for those raids. Uh, within the confines of Wakanda. But then we go to Mercenary, and it's the same thing. Anything that requires a Mercenary, Killmonger is one of the best options, whether it be the monthly gold event that comes around, that's the second weekend of every month, whether it be the Gamma Raid that has Defenders and Mercenaries, uh, whether it be on more defense, Killmonger just stands out as one of the best versions or options of a Mercenary character. He's probably number four on the list, number five, uh, being either Bullseye or Korath, and the first three obviously being Taskmaster, Merc Lieutenant, and Merc Riotguard. Just infinite value out of this one character. And finally, we move to Military, which in and of itself doesn't matter, but at the time of this video, they've announced that they're adding a skill military event for training modules into the game. And if you look, he's a skill military character. So this one character 
is giving you access to three different monthly events. That's better than anything else you can imagine. There's very few characters that have that kind of output. Like, Hand Assassin can be used for the Hand event and to unlock Phoenix, you know? Uh, the Sinister Six can be used to unlock two legendaries. And that kind of value is where we see. This is one character that, between Blaster, Wakandan, Mercenary, and Skill Military, has four different events he can use. Now, if we have to, we could take a look at his kit and determine that, you know, you don't need to put much into him to get the value out of him, which kind of makes him amazing. The one downside to Killmonger is he is a raid store character, and the raid store has uh, two things that are usually higher priority than this guy. The first thing is legendary unlock characters, like, for the sake of the argument, Kree, Oracle, uh, you know... Sabretooth, uh, even Cyclops is technically a better character and a legendary unlock than Killmonger, especially on their teams. But you don't get as much value out of Cyclops as you do with Killmonger. So you have all of this extra value in the character. Killmonger is one of those guys that you're just going to cross your fingers and hope he's like the, the two of shards on the side of a raid orb every now and then, that you maybe open a mega orb and pull a hundred of him and call it a day, that kind of thing. Because you're going to get so much value out of him as a character that working on him alone is going to be a piece of the puzzle. And your investment in him will allow you to invest less in the Wakandans overall, the mercenaries overall, and the skill military characters overall. Because it will allow you as a player to kind of lean on him to carry you through those things. So that's my character spotlight for Eric Killmonger, uh, one of the either most underrated or least talked about characters, depending on which side of the conversation you're on, in the game that quite literally accomplishes so much for you, it's kind of silly that people don't talk more about him. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know how your Killmonger looks like and if you're using him in the same way I am, which is for everything ever. Uh, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I will catch you later.